The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 36. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 26, 1973, in London, England. Translation Sin will overcome us if we slay such aggressors. Therefore it is not proper for us to kill the sons of Dhritarashtra and our friends. What should we gain, O Krishna, husband of the goddess of fortune, and how could we be happy by killing our own kinsmen? Papa Meva. Papa means sinful activity. And Punna, the fire. <coughs> so, people should consider in every activity whether it is Papam or Punna, whether it is virtuous or sinful activity. But the Asuras, they do not know. Those who are asuras, they do not care what is sinful or what is bad. I like it, I must eat. This is asura. There is no reference to the authorities, whether the action which I am going to do whether it is pious or impious. Because by impious activity I will be degraded. Adho gacchanti tamasa javarana gunavittispa. If we become addicted to uh, sinful activities, the result will be we can be degraded, but they do not know. Even so-called religious priests, they support king as can't. Killing is impious, sinful activity, but in the name of religion, Killing is also going on. If somebody says, it is my religion to cut throat, uh, will it be accepted? Very nice thing. Sometimes, just like here is the war, this is also a religious war. But it's still uh, discrimination of John because he is a Vaishnava. A Vaishnava means devota. Demigod. Vishnu Bhakta Bhavet Deva Asurasta Viparja. What is the difference between Deva and Asura? Uh, who is called a Devata and who is called a Asura? There are two kinds of men. One class is called Deva, Devata. The other class is called Asura, Devasura. So there is always fight between Deva and Asura. Uh, now, at the present moment, the number of Asuras have increased. Uh, formerly, the number of Devatas were uh, greater. So, Arjuna is Devata. Because he is Vishnu Bhakta. Though Bhutasat Guru Loki, Daiva Asurayva. There are two classes of man within this creation. Vishnu Bhakta Bhavit Daiva. Those who are devotees of Lord Vishnu, they are called Devata. It's like the demigods like Indra, Chandra. Uh, Surya and many others. And there are thirty-three crores of devotees in the higher planetary system. There are Vishnu Bhakta. 
they will abide by the orders of Vishnu and Vishnu. Just like Indra is Devata, and there is five between Hiranyakashipu and the Indra's party. So when Hiranyakashipu was defeated, naturally uh, the after war, if the other party is defeated, the victorious part is makes some so many aggression. Especially uh, aggression on women, that is still current. Uh, <coughs> innocent women, uh, they are very much harassed after the war by the victorious part. You know, the soldiers have given freedom to raise the women. And plunder the property, so many things they have. So when Hiranyakashipu was defeated, all the devotas, they did not make such aggression, but the wife of Hiranyakashipu, Kayar, uh, I think, she was arrested by uh, Indra and was taken. She was crying just usual woman, but she was being dragged by Indra. So Narada was passing, dancing, what was doing this? Uh, no, there is no question of harassing this woman, but I am taking her in my custody because she is pregnant. And, and the child is begotten by Osura. Therefore, uh, I shall wait for the birth of the child, and as soon as she gives birth, I kill the child. Yes. So Narada says, no, no, that child is not Asura child. He is coming, a great devotee, Mahābhāgavat of Krishna. Because Narada knew that when, uh, uh, not uh, before, after all, he knew, but before also he knew, because they are saying the person, they can understand that here is a child is coming, we will be a great devotee of Krishna. So Mahabhava. You don't try that. You don't take her to your custody. Better give her in my custody, I shall take care. So immediately he abided by the order of Narada. Immediately. He released. And not only released, circumvulated the omen. So here is a Mahabhagavat in the omen of this omen. So let us offer our obeisance. <coughs> This is Vaishnava. As soon as understood that there is a Vaishnava, Mahabhagavata, in the womb of this woman, he is to be respected, offer obeisances. This is called Vaishnava. But the Osura would not do that. Osura would not do that. That is the difference between Devata and Osura. In the Bhagavad Gita, 16th chapter, you will find the description of the Osura. Prabhittincha nivittincha navidu vasurajana. Prabhitti, Prabhitti means what sort of activities we shall do and what sort of activities we shall not do. Uh, the Osura is a Junakna. Anything you do for my sense gratification, I must do everything. Therefore they become entangled. So long they are strong in this life, they do not take care of anyone. Shastra, sadhu, or guru, they do not care for anything. So that means by the asuric civilization, 
the living entities become entangled because he may not care for uh, any action, the Osura, but the nature is there. Pratitetyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa ahamkara vimuratma kattaham iti mannate. Rascals, they are thinking that they are free to act anything he likes. That is not possible. So long we are in this material world, we are conditioned. Prakite kriyamanani guni karmani. As we are associating with the particular quality of this material nature, there are three varieties of quality, goodness, passion, and ignorance. So we have to associate with either of these qualities, unless we are Krishna conscious. Uh, unless one is engaged in devotional service, he must be influenced by these three kinds of qualities. Goodness, somebody may be very good man, according to the estimation of the... Just like Arjuna, he is talking in the modes of goodness, considering. Uh, Although they are atatāyana, pāpameva vāsraya dasmān hatta itān atatāyana. Atatāyana means aggression. According to law, if somebody comes to attack you, or if somebody comes to kidnap your wife, these are atatāyana. Or somebody comes to set fire in your house, especially they are called aggressors. So these aggressors have to be immediately killed. Uh, there is no question of nonviolence. Uh, you must kill immediately. There is no sin at the time. But here, although the other party is atatāyana, aggression. Huh? Still Arjuna is considering whether they should be killed or not. Uh, that is the difference between devotā. Never reaction, the calculating. Uh, but he is considering that this kind of aggression, because they are my kinsmen, they are my family men, whether this kind of aggressor should be killed or not. Uh, it is common sense. Suppose your son has done something mischievous. Uh, uh, the same thing. Same thing means to attack the father. Still the father will consider whether I shall kill my son or not. That is that son. If my son sets fire in the house, whether I shall kill him or not. The origin position is like that. Although they are atatāyana, aggression, still because it belongs to the same family, whether I shall kill, he is consider, considering pāpa uh, me if I kill this kind of aggression, uh, I will be attacked with sin, sinful activities. I have to suffer the result of sinful activities. And he is explaining uh, why Papa may be astrayat as man, because uh, these are bandhavan, sabandhavan, dhāsthurāsthra. The dhāsthurāsthra means the son of dhītarāsthra, dujyodhana uh, nāras. So sabandhavan, the our family members, Bandavan, eh? Sajanangi Katam Hatva Sukina Shyama Madhava. Madhava, my dear Madhava. Eh? You are the husband of the goddess of fortune. Eh? So you are always very happy. Do you think I shall become happy by killing my own man? Do you think like that? Because friend and friend talking. Eh? <coughs> So this is the position. 
They were atutaina, aggressor. There is no doubt about it. Because these dhaturashtra, the sons of dhaturashtra, they insulted Drupadi. Arjuna's wife, there was baiting. The wife was the baiting. So they defeated, they were defeated in the chess play. And the wife was taken by the other party. So Karna took the opportunity because during Draupadi's Shayamba, Karna was insulted by Draupadi. A piercing of the eyes of the fish, Karna was greater, what is called, arrowman. So when Karna came to test the arrow for piercing the eyes of the fish, Draupadi objected. Objected because she wanted Arjun to become her husband, but she knew that if Karna comes to this combat, he will be victorious. Then I'll have to go to Karna. So she is also very intelligent, daughter of Khatriya king. So Karna, nobody knew that he is Khatriya. He was supposed to be son of a carpenter. Karna was born before Kunti's marriage. Therefore, she, Karna, remained hidden, his son. Uh, but he was Khatriya. Uh, so it was unknown. So Draupadi took this opportunity that this competition is meant for the Khatriyas, not for the non-Khatriyas, because he was supposed to be son of a carpenter, Sudra. So he was not given the opportunity to gain Draupadi. Uh, but if he was given the opportunity, he would have uh, come out victorious. So now Karna took this opportunity. When Draupadi was lost in the game, uh, she immediately, Karna was Duryodhana's friend, she immediately advised, now she is our property, we can do whatever we like. Arjuna has lost his wife. Uh, so he advised that make her naked in this assembly. To become naked in the so many people, that is a great insult for women. So actually they tried to insult, not tried, it was fact. But Krishna said, you know, Dharupadi is Vastraharam. She was tried to become naked. But uh, these people could not make her naked. The uh, sari was supplied by Krishna, one after another, one after another, heaps of sari. Then they become fed up and gave up that business. So she cannot be made naked. So uh, they were actually at the time, because at the time means one who comes to kidnap your wife, insults your wife. You should immediately. Uh, that's like Lord Ramchandra. Uh, you are so pious king. Uh, but when it so happened that his wife, Sita, was insulted, Sita was taken away by Ravana. Uh, Lord Ramchandra could marry hundreds and thousands of Sitas. Uh, he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, he could create Sita, Radharani, Lakshmi. They are the pleasure potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Supreme Personality of Godhead cannot have a material wife or material companion. Uh, Krishna's Radharani or Lord Ramchandra Sita Devi, Narayan Lakshmi Devi, they are pleasure potency of the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, 
राधा कृष्ण प्रणय विधि भी अल्लादिनी शक्ति रसमा अल्लादिनी शक्ति कृष्णा गॉड हैज गॉड मेनी पोटेंसीज वन ऑफ दी पोटेंसीज कॉल अल्लादिनी शक्ति प्लेजर पोटेंस सो कृष्णा कॉन्सर्ट लॉर्ड रामचंद्र कॉन्सर्ट देर प्लेजर पोटेंस एग्जीबिटेड so to show the example uh, lord ramchandra because sita was kidnapped uh, sita was insulted or ramchandra was insulted the retaliation was lord ramchandra killed not only ravan but the whole dynasty finish only for one over he could create so many no because at the time Aggressed over that to teach people that anyone, if he is aggressor, uh, he must be killed. Uh, this is the position. But Arjuna is considering whether uh, it will be pious or impious. This is the order. In every action, they will consider what I am going to do. Whether it is pious or impious, that is the way. If it is pious, then it will elevate me, and if it is impious, then it will degrade. Nobody wants degradation. The human life should be especially meant for elevation, not for degradation. You have come to this human form of life. From the lowest status of life, Jalayana Vallakhani Savra Lakhavinsati Timayodhudra Sankhaga. Through so many status of life, the aquatics, the trees, the plants, the insects, the reptiles, the birds, the beasts, Hindus say, Bhavnam Jalmanavante, Bhavnam Sambhavante. This human form of life is gotten. We have received after many many births. Uh, these people they do not know. It is very rare. That when Narottam Das Thakur says, "Manusya janama paiya Radha Krishna naam hoyiya, janiya sumiya bisho khain, hari hari bi phale janama boy." He lament. I am Krishna. I am so unfortunate. I got this human form of life. It was meant for developing Krishna consciousness, but I have wasted my time otherwise. So how it is so? Janiya sumiya vishokhai. Knowingly, I have taken poison. Knowing. लब्धा सुदुर्नमिदम बहु संभवांते मानुषम आर्थदम मनुष्य जाने इस पीपल दे डू नॉट नो विकास देर ऑफ सूरज दे डू नॉट नो व्हाट टू डू इन दिस ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ एंड व्हाट नॉट टू डू देर किलिंग एनिमल्स विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन दे डू नॉट नो दिस रेस्टेस एंड स्टिल देर स्पिरिचुअल लीड How horrible condition is this in this Kali uh, Yuga? Uh, just imagine, uh, without any restriction, without any hindrance, they are committing sinful life. They do not know next life, all this boastfulness, pride will be finished. Uh, you will have to accept another body. Which will be offered by the material nature. You cannot say that I will not accept this body. I want this body. No, nature is not under your dictation. You have to abide by the dictation of nature. Prakite kriyamanani. This verse of Bhagavad Gita is very important. Prakite kriyamanani. Gunai karmani sarvasa. Hongkar vimurat ma patta hamiti mannate. Hankara by false ego, the Osuras, they think I am independent. 
I can do whatever I like. No, you cannot do so. If you do so, then you will be punished. Vaimiddhi sāguna mai mama māyā dhrattaya māmeja prapaddhanti māyā me kāntara. For every little action you are responsible. It is being noted by the material nature. And you have to, you have to, you will be forced to accept a kind of body for suffering. There are so many types of body. Therefore, Arjun being devata, he is considered that although they are atatāyana, at the same time they are family man, for that it is good to keep family. He is asking Krishna. Krishna is there and he is considering, he is consulting with Krishna. So do you think that killing this kind of aggressor has been benefited or not? Therefore in the last line he says, Sajananhi katham hatya sutina shyama madhu. My dear Krishna, do you think by killing my family man, my relatives, shall I be happy? You are madhava. You are always happy because your husband, the good goddess of fortune. But do you think I shall be happy in this way? This is consulting. So, uh, this is the proof of Arjuna's character. A devotee's character. A devotee is always devota, uh, gaming God. So one who is devotee, one who is Krishna conscious, uh, sarvai gunai tattva samasate sura. Sura means devota. All the good qualities of devota. Uh, devotee of Krishna will never accept that killing is very good. No. Uh, for the satisfaction of my tongue, I shall kill so many animals. A devotee will never. Ahimsa. Uh, Ahimsa. Uh, that is the third quality. Amarittam uh, agamittam uh, ahimsa khanti ādhavam. These are everything is there in the Bhagavad. Amanittam. Amanittam means uh, to accept this body as I am. Oh, this is Amanittam. Uh, not to accept. That is Amanittam. Everyone is proud that I am, I am Indian, I am American, I am English man. So he is a boastful, very proud of this body. Uh, so knowledge means I am not this body. I am not this body. That is amanittam, adambhittam. Uh, as soon as we become aware that I am not this body, then my false pride immediately goes. Amanittam, adambhittam, ahimsa. Uh, then ahimsa, non-violence. Arjabam, simplicity. There are eighteen uh, qualifications of the demigods. So one who becomes a devotee of Krishna, Krishna conscious, uh, these, all these good qualities develop. So here is the proof that Arjuna, because he is devotee of Krishna, he is considered uh, whether I shall kill them or not. Ahimsa. Uh, this consideration, not that, it is final settlement. Uh, so, uh, people are trying to elevate the status of the society by so many things. But they do not know the secret. The secret is that if one is training only to become a devotee of Krishna, all good qualities automatically will be visible to this person. There is no need of separate endeavor. Uh, how to make a man honest, how to make a man religious, how to make a man high thinking, simple living. These are good ones. Some of the most the kajava, jnanam, vijnanam, asitam, all these qualities uh, immediately develop. Because a living entity, spirit soul, 
He is part and parcel of Krishna. Mama is Vamsa, Jiva. Krishna says all this. Aham Bija Pudapita. They have come to this material world. I am the sick giving father. They wanted to enjoy. So I have given them chance. But actually I am the father. The material nature is the mother. Just like we have got experience. The father has injects uh, the living entity in the womb of the mother. And the mother has uh, by her blood uh, develops the body of the child. Similarly, all these living entities, uh, eight million four hundred thousand species, they Vijahan Sarvabhutana, the father is Krishna. He has given the seed uh, in the womb of this material nature. And the material nature has given the body. Uh, somebody has got the body of fish, somebody has got the body of tree, plant, somebody has got insect, reptile, somebody bird, somebody bees, somebody human being, somebody demigod. But all these materials have been supplied by the mother. It is very easy to understand. Just like the child grows, the mother supplies the body in beauty. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, therefore, this is very scientific. When he took sannyas and the mother came, Advaita were in, to see for the last time his son, because the sannyas is no more coming. Oh. So at that time, uh, mother became Uvaru uh, such beautiful body, she had nice hair, now it is same. So he became, she became very much Uvaru and was crying. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately fell down on his, on his, on his lotus feet and he, he, he said, My dear mother, this body is yours, my dear Mother. This body is yours. This body should have been engaged for your service. But somewhere or other, I mistake, I have taken this unnatural. Kindly excuse me. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that this body belongs to you. This is your body. Every son should think like that. This is basic culture. Actually, the body supplies, mother, from the very beginning, uh, after sex, uh, these are all described in Bhagavad The two situations becomes emulsified. And the body is formed just like a pea and gradually develops. The ingredients, the energy supplied by mother. Uh, so the, the same thing, the whole creation, uh, the body is supplied by material nature. Mother. Therefore she is called Mother. Material nature is called Mother. Uh, mother Durga. Sisti Sthiti Palaya Sadhana Sakti Deva. The material nature and her name is Durga. Uh, <coughs> Sisti Sthiti Palaya Sadhana Sakti Deva. Chai Vajasta Bhavanani Vibhakti Durga. Ichanurgumapi, just such a taste of his sa, go in the Mahadi Purisam, come on with her. This is the description of Buddha. Uh, so Krishna also says, uh, we should not think like that, that animals are trees, or birds and bees, they are others than ourselves. They are our brother. Because the seed giving father is Krishna. And the mother is material nature. So we have got the same father and same mother. So if we have got the same father and mother, they are all our brothers. So unless one is advanced in spiritual consciousness, how he can think of universal brotherhood? This is no one's sense. There is no possibility. The so-called universal brotherhood is possible when he is Krishna conscious. 
when one knows that Krishna is the common father of everyone. The father will not tolerate. Suppose father has got ten sons out of them, one or two sons, so useless. So those who are very capable sons, if they say to the father, my dear father, these two sons of yours, they are useless. So let us cut their throat and eat. The father will say, yes, you do that. No. Father will never say. No. The father will say, let them be useless, but let them leave at my cost. Why you, you, you have no right to infringe on their rights? This is common sense. But these last days they say that animals are to be killed for uh, the satisfaction of the tongue of the human being. Thank you very much.